full-hearted welcome to Vivoterra here and now. Correctly understanding antagonisms. Is there life after death? I don't like the way this is formulated. So I believe the more correct question would be, is there life after life? Yes. Or even more precisely, is there life after physical life? Yes. Is day the opposite of night? No. Is death the opposite of life? No. If you now take from this that there are no antagonisms at all, then you quite clearly completely misunderstand this tenet. Yin and Yang are remain antagonisms, just like day and night, cold and heat, front and back, and will remain antagonisms. That that is the antagonism of life is also false doctrine propagated by the matrix designed to distance people from true from true faith so i explained like this that is not the antagonism of life that fear is the antagonism of courage is also false doctrine propagated by the matrix designed to distance people for, from true faith so I explained like this. The antagonism of fear is trust. That is not the antagonism of life. How can I say that? Because every antagonism is a complementary addition to the previous state, the state before the transformation. If life were the front, then its antagonism that so-called non-life would be the back. But eternal life never transforms into so-called non-life. Life has no beginning and no end. It is eternal. Something with no beginning and no end does not need an antagonism into which it can transform. It's the same with love. Love needs no antagonism. Love is complete in itself. So, eternity and infinity do not need an antagonism into which they can be transformed. So, what does have an antagonism? However, are the different realms of transformation within life, but never into death. That is just a manipulative word created by the false doctrine propagated by the matrix and it does not really exist. Life is reality and cannot change into non-reality. So again, because it's very important. Life is reality and cannot change into non-reality. Okay, all the best. Remain in peace until the next here and now.